ओम त्र्यंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धनम उर्वाकमेव वंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयामृता ओम त्र्यंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धनम उर्वाकमेव वंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयामृता ओम शांति 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 Hello everybody. This here's your boy Tommy Valentine from Peter Punk Ass. Here to bring you another episode of the Punk Ass show. Now, um <clears throat> today is a very different episode. Uh, I've joined up with a couple other YouTubers here today to do a uh, this really huge collaboration. And um well, it's a it's like a huge Q&A. And uh I was a uh, And well, I was brought into this by username Shaka Vlogs. Uh I do I do apologize if um if I said your name wrong. Anywho, um anywho, five five questions, personal questions about my YouTube channel. So, uh I'm going to get the ball rolling and try to answer these questions for you guys. Question number one: What made me start YouTube? Okay, well, that's a that's, that's a heck of a question because uh, well, I start I started YouTube almost ten years ago, ten years as of next year. Yeah, I, I've been I've been a small YouTuber for years, and I have not given up faith that one day I will be recognized. Plus, I enjoy doing videos and stuff. Anyways, anyways I, I'm straying off the subject. I started well I started doing videos and stuff years ago back back when I was in in middle and high school and I was doing shit like gen the generic way like I had an old VCR with VHS tapes and uh, this old black and white camera okay um this black and white camera it connects directly into your TV or V or VCR or and stuff like that and uh, that's when me and my friends we started we started the series this film series called Helmet and it was basically like uh like jack like our own version of jackass except we added things to it we also had this thing called the random acts where we pick a song and do something stupid to that to that song <laughs> kind of ruin it in a way but uh yeah but yeah um I like, uh but uh but e even even before 10 years ago I wanted to, to do to join YouTube and start my own stuff but uh the problem was uh having a computer or device to be able to regularly log in to YouTube with so uh so yeah I I did get kind of get kind of a late start on YouTube So uh so yeah, I uh started up my page. And uh well, uh let me let me talk a little bit about my uh my channel name, uh, Peter Punk Ass. Okay. Uh well, Peter is actually the name of one of my personas for well, he originally started out as a cast member for Helmet. Peter Pumpkinhead. Uh and uh Well, he, well, Peter now is a part of this music thing I do called the Four Faces. Anywho, uh, enough about enough about. Okay, okay, I'm straying away again. I'm sorry. Uh, anywho, Peter, whose nickname was also Punk Ass. Then this goes back to Hel to Helmet, and we had our own little thing we called the Five Asses of Greatness, where each member had their own ass nickname. <laughs> But uh, <clears throat> uh sorry, I had to scratch my lip. I'm kind of walking around with one uh one hand here. Anywho, uh yeah, we had our own little little ass nicknames. And uh well, 
So when I built my channel, I could just kind of mash everything together, Peter Funk ass. And this was long before, uh, I mean, this was long before YouTube had a problem with people cursing and stuff. Yeah, I am from that far back as far as YouTube goes. Again, I've been doing YouTube for 10 years. So, uh, but yeah, uh, I think that sums up as to, as to my origin story. Let's uh, get on to the next question. Video num <clears throat> video I meant uh question number two where do you get your YouTube video ideas? Anywho well Well in the beginning, like I said in my first uh thing was very original. Except for the part where we kinda mod modeled ourselves after Jackass. Anywho, as as time went on, I began to become more and more inspired by by other lesser known YouTubers. Like, uh, well, after the helmet face stuff ended, I got into doing, uh, hold on a second. I had to wait for this truck to go by. <clears throat> Anywho, as I said, as my pay, as time, as time went on, I began to become more and more inspired by by lesser known YouTubers. After the helmet stuff that ended, I then began to become inspired by some of these uh, these cartoon, what that, what's called the cartoon editors. And basically what they do is they, they uh, well, even though it's copyrighted and stuff, they, uh, they download load episodes of cartoons and stuff, and they would, um, they would cut out certain words and phrases from the uh, from the video, and and, or, and add curse words to it. A after I learned that Helmet was uh, going downhill, this is where I began getting most of my views from from putting curse words into children's cartoons. Okay, and I was inspired to do this by a guy who used to call himself Santo with drugs. I don't think he's around anymore. I think. Uh, I think Viacom finally put the hammer down on him and banned him from YouTube altogether. And this other guy who went by the name Clusen Nolo, I think, who's who's famous, got famous for his uh, his uh, weird take on the SpongeBob bully episode that uh, that he added cuss words to. And those, those videos, and that video right there, that's what got me started doing the cartoon editing and stuff. But anywho, as time went on, from that, from then, I, <clears throat> I was kind of on and off with the cartoon editing and stuff. And um, well, and as uh, as time went on, I began to become more and more inspired by, by different things. But uh, and I then I started doing like my own short films, which were kind of just inspirations of weird ideas I've had in the past and then the present at the time and then uh, and then later on I began to do a rant series with uh, this uh, this old redneck I knew and uh, that was kind of inspired by uh, it was actually kind of inspired by Peter Griffin from the from that episode of Family Guy where he went on the news and started doing that you know what really grinds my gear stuff. So yeah, thank you, uh, Peter Griffin, for that. And then afterwards, I started doing the four faces thing that I mentioned in the first question. And for four faces, it's uh, like a gritty but weird nerdy hip hop uh, series. Well, music group, sorry. <laughs> Starting to run out of breath walking out here. Anywho, uh, and, uh, well, and I was originally inspired to do that by, uh, by underground rapper Kid Crusher. He's a rapper from, underground rapper from, uh, Australia. 
And the album that got me inspired to start doing this was called Cannibal Clown, I think. And, and yeah, it, it was a great it was a great album. It, I mean, I'm not too inspired by music or musicians, but I did like his work, which is what inspired the Four Faces. And then as time went on, I began doing what I'm doing now, the Punk Ass Show, which is actually inspired by several different YouTubers. One of them being uh, this YouTuber bot that goes by the name Some Ordinary Gamer. Okay, when I started doing inappropriate children's YouTube videos, I got my style to do that from, from him. And if it wasn't for him, I don't even know if I, if I would have even began that series. So, uh, so yeah, thanks to him. That, uh, well, thanks to him and, and, uh, Top 15 featuring that guy, Chills. If it wasn't for guys like you, guys like them, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been inspired to do those, to do the punk ass show. So uh, I give thanks to everybody I just mentioned in this, uh, in this video. And I think that does it for, for all of that. Anywho, uh, all right, let's get on to the next question. Question number three. What kind of hobby do I have? Okay, well, I think I've established this uh, in the first two, first two questions, sorry. Uh, the first two questions. I established it in the first two questions. YouTube is pretty much my hobby outside of playing, playing old PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360 games. And, uh, well, another hobby thing I guess I could, I can say that I've uh, caught up on over time is uh, I started doing a cartoon series and it's on uh, it's on YouTube so you guys can check it out it's called it's called Shadow of the Exorcist and the series is completely made up of made from several different video games the Sims being the, the number one game that I used for the project and I felt it it worked a lot for me, so I, so I've continued doing it. Even though the first version of this project flopped because uh, those asshole cast members that I had for the project dipped out on me. Uh, loud vehicles! Thank you. And you, as I was saying, uh, the cast members that I had uh, that I had picked up from uh, BehindTheVoiceActors.com. They had all dipped out on me when I needed them the most. I got two episodes in, and then everyone's like, "Oh, I got other stuff to do," and blah blah blah. And uh, so, so I just had to heck with using actors and stuff. So uh, I just started getting voice clips from different Japanese video games, Soul Calibur in particular, Soul Calibur Three for PS2 and uh, I just started winging everything from from there <laughs> and you know what it, it's working for me I mean I love this pro I love this cartoon project and I love and I love YouTube as my hobby so uh, I guess that does it for this question let's go ahead and check out question number four What kind of content do I want to give my viewers? Well, like I mentioned in the last couple of, uh, like I answered in the last few questions, I want to I want to give my people, my viewers, various things to watch. Cartoons. I want to want to give them list videos. I want to give my opinions on on movies and TV shows and music albums. Uh, I. Like, like I said in the very first question, when I started doing YouTube, it was about 10 years ago, when it, about 10 years ago before all these snowflakes and shit started taking over everything. 
I want to just express myself, express who I am, and and share my interests with the with my viewers. And I know, and I know, I'm not that that interesting because after 10 years, I only have like 300 something subscribers. But then again, it's but then again, I was never really in it for the subs anyway. I was in it for the entertainment, the uh, the, the joy of doing everything. How you doing? So, uh, I mean, I was kind of hoping that Helmet would get over, but but uh, things things happen. And and when uh, things fall through, and you still have have love for what you do, you just keep moving forward. So, uh, hey, who? Uh, things I want to give my viewers to see. Uh, here we go. Here, how, how about a sum? How about I just summarize it? I just want to show them my creativity. I hope that make I mean I hope that makes sense. Anywho, uh all right, let's go down to our last question. Last question. What would I do if I woke up and had 100,000 subscribers? Well, um if I woke up one day with that many subscribers, first of all, I better be getting some kind of pay cut, a really good pay from YouTube. And uh, with that money, I would leave my girlfriend and move my ass back to Florida and continue my YouTube videos. And with the money, <laughs> I would actually put forth, put, I would actually put forth a little more effort into some future mu movie projects. Maybe actually hire some actors. Like, <laughs> like I think about I think about that all the time though. The 100,000 subscriber thing, and I mean I highly doubt that in my lifetime I would reach that. I would ever have that many to begin with, considering that 10 years later only 300 subscribers. But uh, but but uh. But since I joined the small YouTubers community, I'm slowly building views and uh, and subscribers as it is. So some things. So joining the small YouTubers community on Facebook was a was a very good idea. Anywho, uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd leave my asshole of a girlfriend and go back to Florida. That's that's exactly what I would do if I had. 100,000 subscribers. So, uh, I think that does it for me, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tommy Valentine, and this was the Q&A collaboration for the Punk Ass Show. And I will see you around later.